Hi, I'm Alex Draycott. I'm the creative director over at Ironwood Studios. And I'm Seth Rosen, the game director on our first title, Pacific Drive. We're going to take a look at the game today. It's a driving survival crafting adventure set in the Pacific Northwest. We find ourselves here in the Olympic Exclusion Zone, where your only lifeline is an old station wagon. We're going to start this walkthrough in the garage. It's your base of operations where you start and end every trip. Eventually, it'll start to feel like home, and while it can be upgraded, the car is the real star of the show. It's not just a vehicle, it's also the key to your survival. Each part has a purpose, and they can be swapped and upgraded. In the garage, everything is either for taking care of your car, or for helping you prepare. Maintaining the integrity of your car is important. It's your shield against most dangers out there. For folks who take regular trips into the zone, you're going to need every bit of help you can get. Speaking of which, you've got to know where you're going before you leave the garage. On this map, you'll scout routes for your next trip. It gives a preview of what you'll be up against on the right side of the screen, and once you've decided on your destination, you can select it and the scanner on the roof of the garage will highlight the roads that lead you there. It will also reveal some information about the uh, roadside attractions that you'll pass by. Looks like it's time to get ready to go. First thing we want to do is top off our fuel. We can always grab some while we're out in the zone, but it's certainly safer to do while we're here in the garage. The next thing that you're going to want to do is check for missing doors and panels that may have been destroyed or misplaced on a previous trip in the zone. We're missing a door, so we're going to go ahead and craft a new one. Now that we've got the part in hand, the labor itself should be pretty quick. Oh, looks like something's up with our tire. Let's take a look and see what's going on. Looks like we got a flat. Since we're back at the garage, we're going to replace it with a spare that we've got on hand, but with the right tools, we could fix that puncture while we're on the road. Now that that's sorted, we also want to grab a scrapper, which we'll use to gather materials while we're out there. And one last status check before we get behind the wheel. Looks like our battery's a little bit low, and we don't know exactly how long we'll be out in the zone, so we should take care of that. So let's flip the switch and hit the road. If we do get caught with no charge remaining, the car will still start, but no headlights at night is a recipe for disaster. We could hang out in the garage and detail the car or research new upgrades, what we really need right now is more crafting supplies. So instead, we're going to head out, explore some new areas, and scavenge for materials. Each time you exit a level, the route map appears and you'll pick the next stop on your road trip. Maybe you'll want to stick to your plan. Or maybe the zone has changed your plans and you need to come up with a new one. Either way, it's your choice, but for now, let's stick with our original destination. As we roll into this junction, we're looking for any resources or buildings we can scavenge for supplies. We can check our surroundings at the map on the passenger seat to see if there are any points of interest or structures worth investigating, but not everything is on the map. It's important to keep your eyes peeled. We're currently in the damp forest, which is one of our biomes. Each is different with their own resources to gather and hazards you'll have to avoid. Pacific Drive also features a dynamic time of day and weather system, and since we're in the Pacific Northwest, there's about as much rain as you'd expect. And there's even stranger weather to get caught up in as well. Rain and driving surfaces will affect the way your car handles, so drive careful. As we mentioned, this is a survival crafting game, but unlike most games in the genre, you're going to need man-made materials rather than natural to keep your car running. Your car is your lifeline. If you take care of it, it will take care of you. To do that, you're going to need to scrap abandoned vehicles for parts, pilfer deserted buildings, and craft higher tech tools to recover some of the more exotic things that you'll find in the zone. There is more in the peninsula than abandoned ruins and radiation. Watch your back for lurking pickpockets and tourists, and don't leave your car unattended. Abductors have been seen hurling entire vehicles off of cliffs. If you manage to scan any of these anomalies, you'll learn more about their background, and they'll show up on your map when you're planning your routes. But as a note, familiar and anticipated does not mean safe. Every time you visit a junction, certain aspects will be different. The zone causes all manner of things to get jumbled, like different anomalies infesting the area, as well as resources and buildings appearing in new places. Worse yet, large atmospheric shifts can form and pass nearby, bringing increased anomalous activity. It's generally a good idea to give these things a wide berth, but with the right gear, you might just be able to use it to your advantage. The only thing keeping this chaos at bay are these little pieces of tech called anchors. They've been installed all across the zone in a desperate attempt to stop its expansion. For decades, they've been sitting and absorbing energy from the instability. Luckily for you, the arc device installed in your passenger seat is tailor-made to store that collected energy. Anchors, and the energy extracted from them, are the most important resource in Pacific Drive. Back at the garage, you'll need it to unlock new crafting recipes and upgrade the garage itself, but more pressingly, anchors are your way home. In the zone, it's not safe to drive back the way you came, so you need to find another way. 
When you're in an area of the zone that is stable enough, like the junction we're in now, you'll need a certain amount of anchor energy based on how far you are from the garage to make your escape. Once it's charged up, use the arc device to open a gateway at a safe distance from your current location. And then, get a move on. Once a gateway is opened, or if you've chosen to linger too long in a junction, an instability storm is guaranteed to appear. Closing in around you, it may not seem dangerous at first, but getting caught spells certain doom. When you see red in your rear view, you really are on borrowed time. Floor it. We made it back, and with a good haul of resources. We should, though, talk about what happens when you die out in the zone. We won't spoil too much now, but there is more to this garage and your car than at first glance. If you die, you'll still return to the garage, and the game continues, albeit with your ride in a worse state than when you started. The materials you gathered will also be forfeit. Don't worry, though. There's a way to recover those resources. And if your car is in particularly rough shape, well, the zone's a bit strange and sometimes even helpful. There are a few things around the garage that can help you get back on your feet. Fortunately, we made it back with our car more or less intact, so we can head into the back room of the garage and spend our anchor energy. At the fabrication station, you can spend the anchor energy and materials you've gathered to print new crafting recipes that help you survive and explore the zone. For now, though, we're going to build something new. There's plenty to add to the garage, but certain stations can also be enhanced and improved. These garage upgrades have additional tiers that can unlock new parts to craft using zone materials, resulting in better, stranger equipment. When you play Pacific Drive, we want your relationship with your car to be a personal one, and one of the ways that we do this is with our quirk system. Over time, your car will develop more interesting characteristics. These quirks are randomly generated, but the types of behaviors your car develops will be familiar to anyone who's driven an old vehicle. Many of these are harmless, and some even helpful, but when they become more of a hindrance, it's time to get it fixed. Enter the Tinker Station. With it, you can try to diagnose the problem and how it's manifesting. If your analysis is correct, or even partially so, the station lets you know, and once a quirk has been identified, it can be fixed for a cost. You'll have to listen to your car to figure out what's wrong, but if you're struggling with the process, you can upgrade the station to make the diagnosis easier. The garage is always safe, a respite from the chaos of the zone. Unload your trunk, turn on some tunes, catch your breath, and take a moment to tend to your car and nurse it back to health. You'll be mighty glad you did the next time you're barreling down a hill, beset by anomalies, racing towards a gateway. All of the necessary repairs can be done by hand, and there are garage stations that can do some of the work for you. That said, you might be better off recycling an especially busted panel and then using some of the crafting materials that you get back to build yourself an upgraded part, or at least a fresh one. In Pacific Drive, everything can be installed in multiple places on the car. Maybe that means you put a saddlebag on the driver's side for easy access to spare tools, or maybe it means putting a nitro boost on the front bumper for when you need to back out of a sticky situation and do it fast. And it's not just functional and structural parts that can be customized when it comes to making the car your own. Paint all the panels and doors with whatever colors you collect down the zone, and if you find them, there are decal kits that can be applied as well. Beyond that, there are multiple other slots where you can install the various cosmetic trinkets and stickers you find while exploring, assuming you can successfully make it back with them in your trunk. With our car fully repaired and detailed, it's time for the next expedition. Our last trip was successful, so the route we took gets uploaded to the system and reveals new junctions to explore. But that won't be the only thing that's changed. The zone's instability will have randomized certain aspects of the map. So take stock, plan your destination, pack your car, and get back on the road. From Seth, myself, and everyone on the Pacific Drive team, thank you so much for checking out our gameplay summary. We hope you've learned a bit more about surviving out in the zone, and we can't wait to see you behind the wheel on February 22nd. Pre-order Pacific Drive now on PlayStation 5, Steam, and the Epic Game Store. Thanks for watching, and remember, the only way out is through. <laughs>